Hey, this is Adam Knackers, and in this video, I'm going to share with you a really awesome tool for cleaning out your email inbox. So I have a Gmail account. If you're like me and you have an email account that's just piled up all these subscriptions and it's just cluttering your inbox up and it's just a pain to even look at your email because you have so much shit in there, this will allow you to clean it out. Unsubscribe from all the newsletters you no longer want to be um, getting emails from. All right, so you're going to open up a browser, go to CleanFox. Dot io cleanfox.io all right it might prompt you about cookies just click on i agree and then you're gonna um you're gonna enter your email click on connect my mailbox all right now i have a gmail account but this works if you have a webmail account of other uh, like another kind like yahoo for example all right so um once you get to this screen just check the box click on continue and then here what they're gonna have you do now is um if you have an account that doesn't have two-step verification turned on, you're going to need to do that. So in order to do that, you can just, if you want to just Google that, like if you have Yahoo, for example, how do I turn on two-step verification? Um, you're going to want to make sure that's done. It will actually um, guide you through that process too um, if, you don't, if you don't have it set up. But what you're going to want to do here is just click on this button that says start registration. All right, and then scroll down here. You're going to see on this button, continue on google.com. Now, if you have a Yahoo account, it's going to say something different here, right? So you're going to click on this button, then you're going to log in, right? So I'm going to log into my Gmail account. All right, it's sending me a password. So if uh, it's sending me a six digit verification code to my phone, again, they want to make sure because you're allowing them into your account, they want to make sure they only are, are, are able to initiate this with accounts that have this added layer of protection on there, right? Two-step verification. All right. So if you don't have this enabled, again, you're going to have to go into your account and enable it before this will work. All right. So it sent me the code. I'm typing it in now. 581904. Oops. 904. Click on next. I'm going to delete this. I, I'm all right. So you're going to see this. Um, I've demonstrated this already once. So that's why that, that entry was already there, but you're going to see this. It's going to say select app, make sure you choose other, and then just give it a name. All you have to do is name it clean Fox. Click on generate. It's going to give you this code, which you can copy and paste. Literally just select this, hit control C for copy, come back over to clean Fox, click on next step and enter the password. All right. Then click on log in. So you're essentially giving CleanFox login access to your account so it can do what it needs to do. It's going to log in. This can take a second. Once in, it's going to begin the scan. <laughs> and since I told you that this account that I'm using that I'm, I'm at for demonstration is really small, it finished instantly. Okay. But in your case, it's likely going to take a long time. Like I said, if you have hundreds, you know, I had over 100,000 emails in my account and so many newsletters. So it took like a full day. All right. So this, but the, the cool thing is if you see that it's running, you can just literally shut everything down and check on it at whatever interval you want, like check an hour later or just check the next day or you want, and it will probably be done. Right. And then once it's done with the scan, you click on clean my mailbox and it's first going to take you through this wizard. So basically there are three things you can do which each, with each newsletter that you have. If you delete that's the red button down here the red trash can um that means it's going to actually unsubscribe you and delete all the emails if you choose the orange trash can and you don't have to you don't have to drag for like so they're just having you do this so you understand so literally just follow the arrows here like drag the thing over all right and then i'll just show you so by default, it lands you on this view, which I don't like, the card. So basically, you have to go through each card. Each card is like a newsletter. What I'd suggest is clicking on the list view here, and it's gonna just going to show you all of the newsletters you have subscribed to. Like I said, this is a brand new email account for me. That's why there's so few in here. But if you have, you know, you have hundreds or even into the thousands of newsletters you subscribe to over the years, they're all going to be listed here. And then what you can do is just check them. So any, So basically, let's say... Like I'm checking this one. You can check more than one at a time, but I've checked this one. And let's say this is one that I want to unsubscribe from and completely delete, right? So then you're going to click on this red, you see down at the bottom, this red trash can. That's going to remove you from the list and delete the emails, okay? So I'm going to click on auto delete. Now let's say for team two buddy here, I want to, um, I want to stay subscribed, but I want to delete everything. That's the orange button. Um, 
So it's going to keep me subscribed, but it's going to delete all the emails. So I'm going to click on delete. And now let's say this one, I just want to keep. So I'm going to click on the green. All right. So at this po point now, I've gone through all my, dis my newsletters and I've told them what I want to do with each of them. And so that's going to effectively clean your account. And this makes a huge difference. Like it'll literally at one time from going through this, you can get rid of like all the emails and all the un unwanted subscriptions um, that you don't no longer want emails you want to receive emails for. Now make sure that like, for example, if you want to stay on my list and continue to get helpful tips, make sure you keep my subscription. Otherwise you won't receive my future emails, right? But any emails, any subscriptions you want to get rid of, make sure you select and then appropriately take the right action for. All right. So that's all there is to it. Um, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel and stay tuned for more helpful tips to help you grow uh, your online business.